Hi everyone and welcome to the summer section of Child Development 163. Because this is an online course, I like to do these navigational videos just to support you in finding your way around. For this first week, it is kind of an intense week, I'm not going to lie to you all, um, but I do want you to know where to get started. So the first thing you're going to do this week is you're going to start at the course introduction module. Within this module, you're going to find a lot of very important information. Um, I trust that you will read all of this because at the very end of the module, you're going to take a syllabus or start here module quiz, which encompasses all the information that you can fi find within this module. So including this video, which you can find in what to do in week one. Um, I do want you to know what work will be due this week. So this is important to know. So the first thing you're going to do is the student information survey. This is a really easy way to earn yourself five points at the beginning of the semester. It's a series of questions where you just answer them to the best of your ability. Um, there's no right or wrong answer. It's just for me to get to know more about you as you start on this journey with me. Um, that is due Wednesday, May 5th. The next thing you're going to do is your start here uh, syllabus module quiz. This is not your typical quiz. You can take it as many times as you need to until you get to 100%. And then once you finish that, it'll allow you to move on to our week one module. Um, something that you'll see before you go into our week one module is you'll notice that there are a couple discussion forums here available to you. This first one is really if you have any questions about the course and I'm not responding fast enough, you can post your question within the course Q&A discussion forum and a peer possibly could answer that question for you. The student lounge is a little different. What happens in the student lounge is just for you to hang out. Many of you haven't really seen your classmates in a really long time, and so this is just a way for you to uh, maybe post a job announcement, um, if you're looking for a dog sitter, um, something um, to connect with your classmates. So here's our very first module. What I want to point out here is that in every single week's module, you're going to have an overview and checklist. So I'm gonna click on this to show you what our first week looks like. What you will see typically is a video within the first week's uh, overview and checklist. And so for every week in the overview and checklist page, you're going to see a, an instruction or navigation video. So you'll see this video here as well. Um, you'll see what we're going to be discussing that week. You're also going to see what our course learning objectives are for the week. And then this is very important and it's actually something I recommend printing if you're able to. If not, you can use it to see what assignments are uh, to be completed during that week and when they are all due. I typically have a Friday, Sunday due date policy, um, but there are a couple of assignments as they've discussed that are due on Wednesday. That's your syllabus quiz and your student information survey. The other activities that you have this week are your Flipgrid online introductions, and I'll go over each of these assignments throughout the module. Um, as you can see, you'll see the point value and the due dates in these two boxes. These are just outlining those course learning outcomes that I just showed you up above. So in order to get to the next page, you can click next, and it'll bring you right to our Flipgrid discussion. So this first assignment, your initial post is going to be due on Friday, and your responses to your peers are going to be due on Sunday. Now for discussions, I do have them close on Friday so that everyone gets their initial post in. 
It might show up as having your responses late if you turn them in after Friday, but please note that I will look and if they're in before the Sunday due date, they are not considered late. So even if they say they are late, I will not consider them late as long as you get them in before the Sunday due date. And remember, those are your responses. For Flipgrid, you can actually log into Flipgrid directly from your assignment and you'll see more directions up above. Okay. Our next assignment is your wiki word cloud. So for this assignment, what you're going to do is you're going to click on the video included in this link. Once you've watched the video, what I'd like you to do is come up here on top, click the edit button. That'll allow you to actually edit this page with your responses. So you're going to put your first and last name below mine, and then two words that really uh, define how you felt during this video. Okay, and then you're going to click save. And that is that assignment. Our next assignments are pretty popular. So what you'll see, it's called the play pause. So these are quizzes, but you're watching a lecture and then answering questions that have to do with what you've just watched in the lecture. You do get two attempts on these quizzes and they are not timed. So you can open and close them as you need to. Um, you can take as long as you need to to complete the quizzes. Um, and once you hit submit, you've just done one of your attempts. So, but remember, you still have that second attempt just to make sure you are using those attempts wisely because I cannot open them more than two times. Okay. You have two of these lectures this week. So two of these play posit lecture quizzes, one on inclusion and one on legislation. Your next activity this week is a guide to disability legislation. Um, you'll see for each assignment, I give pretty detailed instructions. Um, and if you have any questions about my expectations, always feel free to send me an email. Okay. 14 categories of disability is your next activity. and you've made it through your very first week of assignments. I know that might feel like a lot, but I hope that it's good information and it gets you excited about continuing in this course. So I'm looking forward to a wonderful semester um, and I cannot wait to get to watch your introduction videos. Have a great week.